Hello everyone and welcome to another Meta Ads tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to apply UTM tags on Meta Ads. You are running a Meta Ads campaign, you want to track everything in Google Analytics. How can you do that? I'm going to tell you in one minute, it's very easy. Before we go to the point, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. So step number one, you're going to come here to the Meta Ads Manager. You're going to click to create a campaign. I'm going to very quickly create now a traffic campaign as a guinea pig. We are going to say we want manual targeting and we are going to say that we want to send people on our website. You are going to go to the ad level. So you are going to select your ad and you are going to scroll down. Scroll all the way down. Ignore the website URL under ad sources. This is to create site links. So ignore this one. Scroll all the way further down. And under destination, this is your landing page. So we have the website URL here. So whatever you put in here is where people are going to go after they click your ad. So we are going to type test.com. And here, what we're going to do now is we're going to insert the URL parameters, the UTM tags. The easiest way to do it is to click here on building a URL parameter. So click on build a URL parameter and this screen is going to open up. So all we have to do here is to insert our campaign source, insert our campaign medium, insert our campaign name, and if we want the campaign content. But how can we do this correctly? We need to adhere to Google Analytics requirements. So in order for our traffic to be grouped under the channel that is called paid social, what Google Analytics is telling us is that the source should be a social media site. And at the same time, the medium should be one of these words here, CPC, CPA, CPL, or PPC, or retargeting, or paid. This link that I'm looking at here in my screen is going to be in the description of the video. So you can find this link, you can scroll down to channels for manual traffic, and then you are going to look into the requirements for paid social, for traffic that is going to be grouped under the channel paid social. So what this means now here is that the campaign source, for example, is going to be Facebook. The medium we're going to say is going to be paid. The campaign name, let's call it, for example, National Day. You can insert your campaign name. And the content, typically we use it to differentiate the ads. For example, a red logo, blue logo, the ad with the people, the ad with the white background and so forth. So let's say this is the red image and we are going to apply. And now that we applied this UTM tags, you can see here that I have my landing page test.com. And then I have a question mark, UTM underscore source equals Facebook and medium equals paid and campaign equals blah, blah, blah. So that's how easy it is to use Facebook interface to apply UTM tags. What is a second way now that we can do exactly the same thing? The second option is to go here to campaign URL builder. This is a link that will help us to create UTM tags for Google Analytics. And we're going to do exactly the same thing, but externally. So under website URL, we're going to type test.com, for example. This is the landing page that people will go when they click the ad. Then the campaign source, here I'm going to follow the same drill, is going to be Facebook. The medium is going to be paid. The campaign name is up to you. So here we're going to say national day. And we also have two more parameters, the term. This is not very often used for meta ads campaign and the campaign content, which is used typically to differentiate the ads. And once we put basically all the parameters here, if we scroll down, let's say here, we need also the HTTPS www. So let me actually take a test, a test URL. So once we, we put everything in here with the HTTPS and the www, we are going to scroll down and here we have our landing page with the parameters. So all we have to do is to copy 
our URL and we can use it on our meta ads. How can we use it? We're going to come here and we are going to paste it into this box. Now you can sort and also this uh, URL. If you have, let's say, a long landing page and you want to use the same, for example, on a post, you can either sort it through Bitly or you can also sort it through you can sort it through bitly we can also sort in this url we can also sort in this url through bitly or any other tool that does the same job so if you don't want your url to be that long then you can actually go to bitly you can insert it and then you can sort the url with the utm tags now let's say we did this job and we have here our landing page and we are running the campaign where can I see the results? That's a very fair question. So you are going to go on your Google Analytics. You're going to visit your Google Analytics. You are going to go to your traffic acquisition report. And under the traffic acquisition report, you are going to change the dimension here in the, on the drop-down menu from primary default channel group to session source slash medium. So you click the drop-down menu and you select source slash medium. And here you are going to see an entry that is going to say Facebook slash paid or Facebook slash CPC or whatever else you inserted as UTM tags. So one more time, you're going to go to Google Analytics. You're going to go to traffic acquisition. On the first column here, you're going to change to source slash medium, session source slash medium. And here you will be able to see the entry as per the UTM tags that you applied. Before we end this video, a couple more tips. When it comes to UTM tags, ideally, everything should be lowercase. This is because UTM tags are case sensitive. So if you put Facebook with lowercase f and Facebook with uppercase f, you are going to create two different entries in your Google Analytics. So use everything lowercase. The second tip here is never use spaces. So don't create a campaign name, for example, which is National Space Day, right? Most of the time it will work, but sometimes if you do this, then the UTM tag will automatically add this plus symbol. And sometimes depending on the browser, it may actually not go through or not really report properly. So either you are going to use underscore national, for example, underscore day, or you are going to cram everything together, let's say like this, or you can capitalize certain words here, right? So never use spaces and use everything as lowercase. And finally, remember that if you want correct grouping in Google Analytics 4, advise this URL, scroll down to channels for manual traffic. And here you are going to see the requirements, what Google Analytics expects to see when traffic is incoming from meta ads or from any other platform. So if we want something to be grouped under paid social, we need to adhere to these requirements. If we want something to be grouped under paid video, we need to adhere to these requirements and so forth. That's it. That's how easy it is to apply UTM tags on meta ads. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And as usual, have a great day in any time zone.